Welcome to Compliance Commando. Here you will learn battle-tested compliance strategies for successful advisors. Today we are covering part one in a five-part series, Five Things You Must Learn from the Movie Sully. Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. This is Cactus 1549. Hit birds. We've lost thrust on both engines. We are turning back towards the wharf. Which engine did you need? Both, both. Thrust levers confirm idle. Idle. Cactus 1549, if we can get a few, do you want to try to land on the left train? We are unable. We may end up in the Hudson. Excuse me, left traffic, runway 31. Unable. Okay, what do you need to land? No relight up to 30 seconds. Blue Master 1 and 2 confirm off. Off. Three. Brace for impact. We know how the story goes. We know that Sully landed that plane in the river and everyone survived. Sully was declared an American hero. He was all over the TV doing interviews and has become pretty famous. But what stuck out to me in that first video was Brace for Impact. It really hit home. You see, 2018 has started out to be a very volatile year. As I record this on February 12th, we've had two of the last five days where the markets have lost a thousand points. The markets have been more turbulent than we've seen in quite some time. The media is doing their fair share of scaring the daylights of, out of people, and our phones are starting to ring. The smooth ride of the markets is likely over. When clients get concerned and their accounts are losing money, you are one phone call away from having a huge mess on your hands. It only takes one client to have buyer's remorse bad enough that they'd like to push the issue with your firm, or even worse, file a complaint with a regulator. Once the regulators get involved, you know you are in a world of hurt. Not only will it take up a lot of your time, but your money as well. Today we begin with our operation and human performance investigation on the crash of US Airways Flight 1549. Water landing. Captain. This was not a crash and it wasn't a ditching. We knew what we were trying to execute here. It was not a, it's not a crash, it was a forced water landing. Why didn't you attempt to return to LaGuardia? There simply was not enough altitude. The Hudson was the only place that was long enough and smooth enough and wide enough to even attempt to land the airplane safely. Air traffic testified that you stated you were returning to LaGuardia, but you did not. I realized I could make it back, and it would have eliminated all the other options. Returning to LaGuardia would have been a mistake. Okay, well, let's get into how you calculated all those parameters. There was no time for calculating. I had to rely on my experience of managing the altitude and speed of thousands of flights over four decades. You're saying you didn't do anything? I eyeballed it. You eyeballed it. Yes. I get asked all the time why I'm so passionate about this compliance stuff and keeping other advisors out of trouble. It seems pretty boring to everyone. But this part of the movie made me sick to my stomach. You see, when Sully was released, I was involved in the FINRA inquiry. It was over a technicality and had nothing to do with any client complaint. The broker-dealer I was working for at the time discovered during a routine annual compliance visit that I had allegedly incorrectly compensated a registered investment advisor for referrals to my firm. You see, I had experience working in an area of the markets that the RIA didn't. We worked together with the RIA's clients and I received compensation for the work I did. The alleged error was in the way the referral fee was calculated. Again, this had nothing to do with the client's accounts nor was any client harmed in these transactions. In fact, no clients were even aware of the inquiry was happening until the regulators began calling them, and from what one client told me, quote, trying to bait them into filing a complaint. When this inquiry began, I was recommended to retain an attorney to help deal with my responses. We immediately replied to the facts of the case and told them exactly how our arrangement worked. More about that later. Just understand that this part of the movie aroused some serious emotion from me, as I'm sure it did you as well. It just didn't seem right what they were doing. We know the outcome of this. We know that it's considered the miracle on the Hudson and that nobody died in this water landing. We know that Sully had no responsibility for what caused the engines to fail and the fact that the plane had to make an emergency landing in the first place. He simply had to deal with those circumstances and make the best decision possible with what he had. 
he had to try to get that plane down safely to not only protect his life, but the life of the passengers as well. Here's where lesson one comes in. Outcomes don't matter. Most of the time, they really don't. Just like Sully, you have no control over what happens to the markets and the products you sell. Prospectuses even tell clients that there's no guarantee of future results. But today we are hearing more and more stories about advisors being sued, fined, suspended, and even barred from the industry over the investments that the advisors and their firms recommend. No matter what you sell, if you ever get involved in a complaint or an inquiry, you'll be second guessed, oftentimes by a regulator who has never sat in front of a client. Someone will always know more than you and question why you did what you did and not something else. Your experience simply doesn't matter. Even though you're doing what you feel is in the best interest of the client, which is now called being a fiduciary, you could very well find yourself in a mess if the markets don't act right. Just like Sully, you had to make a choice and commit to the course of action. You don't get the luxury of second guessing it later on. At Compliance Commando, we have found a strategy to use that will help you, should a client ever want to file a complaint. This strategy protected me through my ordeal and we feel it can protect you. We use this strategy with all of our transactions and feel you should as well especially when you're conducting transactions with clients at the height of a record bull market. Feel free to contact us for more information. Brace for impact. It is 2018 and volatility is definitely back. Join us again at ComplianceCommando.com for part two where you will learn another lesson from Sully to protect your practice.